So welcome everybody. Today's topic is what are the tools you could use to create greater ease and joy. So from those of you who have joined in, I'd like to know what are the tools you like to use to create greater ease and joy in your life. Who would like to go first? Sushmita, you want to go? Jahangir? I missed the question. There was some incoming call. Okay. So what are the tools you all use to create greater ease and joy in your lives? So what are the tools you like? Shrikant, what is yours? Nobody, nobody uses any tools, really? I think, uh, uh, Sudha, you're uh, cutting in and out. Mine is all of that. Come again, please. Mine is all of uh, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. I say awesome. it about 30 times every day. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, cool, cool. When do you say this? I say it in the once a day, like uh, as part of my gratitude and things. Awesome. So, Sudha so says, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. She says it every morning. Awesome. Okay. And she also do does... Some work on gratitude every day, which is another tool that she uses. Okay. So what? I am not able to do every day. See, I, I say it in my mind every day, but I also have a gratitude journal, okay. uh, which I uh, fill from time to time. I'm not able to do it every day or every week, but from time to time I fill it. But uh, daily, of course, constantly... I mean, I can't say how frequently, but it's pretty much constantly I thank God for whatever I have. And uh, the other thing is, the, you know, that this is a different perspective and an interesting perspective. That's something I'm trying to inculcate. So cool. So cool. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. So very often we are totally like mixed up with other people's energies and the energy of the situation and when we say IPOV that is interesting point of view I have this point of view we start loosening that up if other people are involved it's good to say interesting point of view they have this point of view say that multiple times and then say interesting point of view I have this point of view and over a period of time you may not immediately loosen it up but over a period of time of regular usage you could loosen up on that topic so there are many topics you may loosen up easily you just have to say oh okay i am choose this and it would be done or you can just say okay pod and pocket and you would be done so pod and pocket is the clearing statement that we use in access right wrong good bad pod pock all nine shots boys pods and beyond so you may pod and pock some things however if you are very entangled with something we can't be in interesting point of view we can't put in pocket. So start using interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Because end of the day, they may have a point of view, but you having the point of view is what entangles you there. And as you disentangle from that, it's possible to create greater. Deepa, one question. Yes. See, when we are doing the interesting point of view, I have this point of view, they have this point of view and all. So I should visualize that uh, the existing point of view or the existing situation and what would be the uh, my situation. Those things I have to visualize and uh, I have this point of view. My point of view is something else. No, no visualization. We don't do visualization here. The reason okay. is that when we visualize, we are capable of only visualizing some limited possibilities. Okay. And even when we think it out, our mind is also very limited. The universe offers amazing number of infinite possibilities for everything. 
But with our thinking, we slow it down, we use our filters and we choose two or three possibilities. So when you start visualizing and visualizing a particular outcome, then actually you could create a stuckness in that point of view. So one of my examples is, was, uh, you know, there was this um, person who was in the software field and he wanted to shift to real estate and he had not received a job for some time. So he was like waiting to start in the real estate field. So he kept on applying everywhere and they had not called him even for an interview. So he was very dejected and upset. After six months, he came for a session. And in that session, something made me ask him, how much money are you looking to earn? And in Indian rupees, he said, maybe five and a half lakhs per annum or even five lakhs. I said, why are you reducing it? He said, no, because I don't have experience in that field. I said, okay, and how much are you earning now? Now, this question may not come in every session, but that day it just energetically came up. And then I said, okay, so what would you like to earn now? He said, five and a half or five is fine with me. I was like, okay, what else is possible? What if, what were you earning, earning earlier? And he said, he was earning nine lakhs. I said, why is such a big reduction? Again, he said, I don't have experience. So we cleared something in that area. And I said, what if people give you nine? Are you willing to receive it? Initially, he wasn't. And then he cleared his points of view about it. And that opened up some energy. In three, within two days, I think he was called for an interview. And that was the first interview in six months of waiting. And then he actually got the job. And the job waiting there was nine lakhs. So what was his thinking? I can get five and a half. Maybe I'll get five. What is his thinking? So our thinking always limits us. So when you do interesting point of view, please don't complicate it. It's a very simple thing. Don't put, I will do this and I will put that also and I will put this also and this thing also and make it appear like this is the outcome I want. That is called vested interest. That gets you entangled further in the outcome. And when you don't have a specific outcome in mind, like this person, when he let go that specific outcome in mind, what was available from the universe was far greater. That is the possibility you can open up when we, when you give up a fixed point of view. So visualizing creates a fixed point of view and we are trying to visualize specific things, specific whatever. And when you give up that specific outcome, that specific attachment to the specific visualization of that, you could actually allow something greater. Does that answer your question, Shrikant? Yeah, perfect. Okay. I get it. So that means uh, every now and then we have to uh, be, we have to say that the interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Yes, if all are, if for most of our points of view, we are able to move out from the rigidity, then so much more is possible. Exactly. Thank you, Deepa. You're so welcome. What else? What else is possible? Anybody else? What tools do you use to create greater ease and joy? I use uh, how does it get any better than this and what else is possible. Awesome. Majority. Awesome. And uh, sometimes I use uh, IPV. Okay. IPOV. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, interesting point of view. Got it. Yeah. Wonderful. So that's it. Not my, all the tools uh, like that. Uh, who does this belongs to or something. Okay. Not quite oftenly, but uh, very oftenly who, what else is possible. Okay. Because whenever I struck, I, I will ask one question, uh, what else is possible? How does it get any better than this? So only those things I do. Cool. So for those of you who have attended the bars class, the foundation class, or whichever else other classes you have attended, what you can also do is you can pick up the manual and yeah. ask, okay, what tool can I read about today that could be a contribution to me? And uh, open up the foundation manual, whichever page comes up, or go through, close your eyes, go through the uh, table of contents, whichever, wherever point energetically your finger stops as you run it through that, just pick it up and read those two pages, maybe four pages, maybe 10 pages that day, whatever 
comes up for you, start reading that and ask, okay, which of these tools could I use today? Which of these could be a contribution to me and to the world? Now, the world doesn't have to be in, mean all the billions of people in the world, but it could mean the people of your world. Okay, so if you're all working, so somebody is working, so your world of whoever you're in interaction with, your family members, your friends, your world. Okay, so look for that. Next, uh, also those of you who've attended classes, you can also say, okay, let me pick up some recordings, which I've attended so many classes, which of these could contribute to me? And let go of logic. Logic using the mind actually restricts the possibilities. And if you're willing to create beyond it, then so much more is possible. And go play those recordings. So supposing it comes up, oh, okay, let me go play, talk to the entities recordings, okay, open it up. Then ask, should I do it for beginnings or intermediate or advanced, which one? Maybe you've attended all three. Now you ask out of these, which recording shall I play? And play that recording, go click on that. And in that recording, ask which minute should I click on from? And maybe you will get from the zeroth minute. Okay, or maybe 13th minute or 17th minute, go click from there. And you will be amazed. You may not have all day to listen to the recordings. And these tools you could use at such times too. If you've attended money classes, play money classes through the night at zero volume. Let it loop through. It can clear some things. And also cognitively listen to it and start playing with the tools. Each one of those classes you have attend it, please know that it's a gem of a class. And so much can be possible just by you choosing greater. So ask, okay, which tool shall I learn about today? You may have forgotten some tools. And that's one of the reasons why we give the recording so that you can listen to more and more. Okay. What else? Jahangir, I saw your question and uh, I will take it up in a short while. If I miss, please remind me. I'll take it up. Energetically, we'll just... Sure, thank you. Hmm. Yes. Anyone else? What tools do you use on a daily basis? What is it that works for you to create greater? No one else uses any tools? That's it? I've been very much out of touch, so I'm just listening to get back. Wonderful. So, Wonderful. so uh, for me, this is uh, like a going like a revision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm not really, I haven't been really into this for quite a long while. I'd like to, but so join today, and I hope I'll continue. And I'll I have the uh, manual. I'll look into it. Cool, wonderful. So one person has messaged, what is right about this I'm not getting? That's a fantastic tool. Most of the times we are we are thinking something is wrong with the situation. I don't like this. Something is blah, blah, blah. And I don't like this and whatever. So we are looking at what's wrong with this place. What's wrong with this person? What's wrong with me? Whatever. So we are looking at what's wrong. To unprogramming, unprogram that wrongness which we have locked into our systems about the situation, about people around us, great tool to use is what's right about this I'm not getting. Don't look for answers. Oh, should I make a list of right things? You can. At the same time, don't look for answers. Just ask, what's right about this I'm not getting? 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 So if you notice, I really used it a large number of times and I'm look, not looking for answers. 
So ask it like that without looking for answers. Oh, what is right about this? What is wrong about that? Forget all those answers. Just ask and leave it. Ask and leave it. And the reason I asked multiple times because the situation I thought of required me to keep saying it multiple times. So keep saying it, keep saying it until you feel lighter. Well, one big question. Instead yeah. of asking what, uh, what is right about this, I'm not getting, I can make it in a clearing statement. And uh, if I say it like that, that would be much better or uh, either way I can do it. See, use your awareness. There is no, see, the whole thing about access is about you tapping into your awareness, which is greater than you, what you think it was. Now, okay. supposing I give you a solution today, always, Shrikan, this is the way to do it. Always, you must, you must all do this. Then what am I saying? I'm saying cancel off your awareness. Don't be aware. Use this capsule I've given you. This is the way you should do it. Your awareness is greater than you thought it was. I'm sorry? Which one is feeling lighter that would be better? Yes, just choose that. Uh, it no comes to the mind, whether it is a clearing or whether it is a tools, that we have to use it instantaneously Correct. without Correct. judging anything. Exactly. And without expecting anything also. Because clearing is also a tool. Asking a question is also a tool. So another tool, somebody has messages, what's right about this? I'm not getting. Yes. And what's right about me? I'm not getting. Okay. So, and you can even use it for a particular person. Supposing you're angry with a person, you're annoyed with a person, you can ask what's right about this person I'm not getting. Okay. So that asking repeatedly starts changing the energies. Another example I have is, for example, my father was going in for a surgery and we were not, you know, my mother, my sister and I, my father, I'm not sure how he was, but my mother, sister and I, we were not in a great uh, energetic space at that time. So I said, this is not the way I want to take him to hospital. And I was wondering what clearing shall I use? What tool shall I use? Shall I use this tool, that tool? And strangely, one tool that popped up for me was all that keeps me from having more fun today I, than anything else so far, I'm willing to destroy and uncreate it all. And I use that multiple, multiple number of times and it just changed the energy. My first reaction was, my, my father is going in for, for a surgery tomorrow. And you mean to say I should look for fun today? Isn't that a wrong thing to do? And that was the programming that was coming up. And when I said, okay, that's fine. Right now, this is the tool that is popping up. I'm just going to use it. Doesn't matter. These tools don't have side effects, you know. That's the best part of these tools. You're only clearing energies. You're only asking questions. So when I started clearing that, it was so much easier and there was a lot of ease in getting his admissions done. And then we had a very relaxed, happy time at the uh, hospital. And then the next day, his surgery went fine. Excuse me. So be in the question. You asking questions can create just amazing, amazing possibilities. What other questions? What other tools do you use? Uh, Deepa, I would like to share something that I used when my dad was uh, diagnosed and he was admitted and the doctor said that he will not survive. So call all the relatives and it's you know, in the last stages and stuff like that. My awareness was like, everything is opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. And I kept on doing this one tool and second thing was like, interesting point of view, they have this interesting point of view and interesting point of view, I have this interesting point of view that they have this interesting point of view. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister kind of a stuff. But then I told my mom, I told my brother, I told everyone who were close over there and my mom actually was, you know, like giving up. Believing into what the doctors had said. I said, just keep, I said, do not deny 
do not argue with them but whatever they are saying just go in your head and just say interesting point of view they have this interesting point of view interesting point of view they have this interesting point of view how does it get any better than this and what else is possible these two questions have been something like a magic wand for me right from for anything and everything and my brother and everybody were like you know they had believed into it but then i kept asking that question again and again my sister was doing it and some way my mom started questioning asking that thing and saying that thing dramatically by 4 4:30 my brother was like let's shift him from here and when it was decided to shift him and we sent the reports to the other doctor consult uh, a doctor where he was supposed to be shifted my dad was supposed to be shifted he said there's nothing there's nothing wrong with him वो इतने सीरियस है भी नहीं उनको ऐसा कुछ लगाया भी नहीं और उनके रिपोर्ट्स जो है उसमें कुछ ऐसा दिख नहीं रहा कि उनको आईसीयू में भी रखने की जरूरत है एंड वी शिफ्टेड हिम एंड थिंग्स ड्रामेटिकली चेंज लाइक एनीथिंग लाइक आई हैव सीन दैट हैपेंड राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ माय आई सो दिस इज द टूल दैट आई ऑलवेज गो इनटू वन इज हाउ डज इट गेट एनी बेटर देन दिस व्हाट एल्स इज पॉसिबल एंड सेकंड इज इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दे हैव दिस इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड लास्ट दैट आई यूज इज एवरीथिंग इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ व्हाट इट अपीयर्स टू बी नथिंग इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ व्हाट इट अपीयर्स टू बी And like I will, what's right about this? That I I'm not getting. That is another tool that I love playing with, and have seen things shift. Like just so much of ease, like makhan ke jaise change hota hua dikhta hai, and it's really fun. So cool, so cool. Does anybody remember what this tool does? Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Yes, it brings you out of the polarity completely, puts you into a different space, and allows you to just not get into any of the polarities and just be there, present, and with the awareness. That's what I have felt. So cool, so cool. Polarity is where we have like the North Pole, South Pole. We have right, wrong, good, bad. We have everything polarized and differentiated. So when to get out of the polarity into a different space, we can say everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. And saying this repeatedly actually gets us also disentangled from the situation. It could get you to a space where. you have a birds eye view of the whole thing and you can look at what else is possible sometimes we can't do we may say what else is possible but we are not willing to receive the inputs about what else is possible okay so puja says uh, some tools she uses when she gets stuck or when she feels she is stuck what is this what can i do with this can i change it if so how can i change it that is an amazing set of questions too thank you for sharing that also anupama says what can i be to out create and go beyond all the projections rejections separations expectations judgments that others have towards me that is some such an amazing thing people will expect something of you just like you expect of people people will also have expectations of you they may also reject you because based on what they have decided you don't meet those expectations so they may reject you without cognitively rejecting you and please remember just because they are rejecting you even if they are actually rejecting you what if it actually doesn't mean anything in those few seconds they feel oh my god this person is not matching my expectations what if it's just that what if it doesn't mean anything what if it doesn't mean you're a failure what if it doesn't mean anything about you as a person they have a perspective they have an expectation you should have cl climbed mount everest yesterday and maybe that doesn't even interest you so for what what is the value of being judged on that now they projecting towards you that expectation is one thing or even stating it to you if you buy into it you are going to judge yourself every day and say oh my god i was not interested that's why i didn't climb mount everest or whatever it is for you so then you get into the space of where you're justifying for or against your choice and that actually pulls your energies much more than the other person judging you because you have bought into their point of view that is what pulls your energies down so what's the best way to handle that deepa what if there is no one best way okay so what anupama has shared is also a great tool what what can i be to out create that what can i be to 
outcreate all the projections, rejections that others have towards me? That's a great question to ask too. What would it take for me to have so much fun, so much fun, so much fun, that it doesn't matter to me how much people judge me? I have a variation of that. I sometimes, if somebody is nonstop judging me, that's the way they're going to continue to be. I say, what would it take for them to have so much fun, so much fun, so much fun that they forget about me? I'm okay that they forget about me, stop judging me, and they're now busy somewhere else. But they forget about me, so they are having fun. I'm wishing that they have fun too, and they don't remember me, which is good for me too and good for them. So you can play with these tools. It's I like playing with them, so let's play with it. And uh, another tool somebody had written a short while ago, which let me see. Okay. How can I be, how can I contribute to them and how can they contribute to me? So instead of asking how, start asking what. How does it get better than this is a great tool to ask. That is one of the few places we use the word how. Think of some place in some space in your life where you were very lucky, something awesome took place for you. Think of something where something very luck, something very interesting happened to you, something you were very lucky, some you got a job, you got a hike, you got something. Now ask, how did I get so lucky? You came into some new business, ask, how did I get so lucky? So when you ask how. You're calling for that energy to repeat. So don't ask, how can I contribute to somebody? Ask, what would it take? What contribution can I be to them? And what contribution could they be to me? That is actually greater expansiveness. So then one person has asked here, what tool raises the energy? So what does that mean? What does raising the energy mean? That means you're already judging that it is low. How can I raise the energy? Then once you have to keep on judging now whether it's raised or not. So then you're continuously still in judgment. Nothing has taken place that is allowing something greater then. How can I raise the energy itself is a question that is full of judgment. So please don't ask that question. Ask expansive questions where you don't judge the energy that is coming up. So ask what would it take for me to have more fun today than any other day so far? That's an awesome question to ask because it just means nothing. It means that people can still judge you. You may still enjoy yourself. And what if you could give you the permission to enjoy yourself? People will always judge you. They'll judge you if you sit, if you stand, if you earn, if you don't earn, if you get lots of money, if you don't get money, whatever you do, people will judge you. It's what you choose. Are you choosing judgment of you? That is what makes the difference. Okay, awesome. Pooja is sharing another tool. What do you love about this and what do you hate about this? That's also a great question to ask. Sometimes people say, no, I keep having this medical issue or this health issue or this relationship issue or some other job issue or some other blah, blah problem or whatever. Ask yourself, what do I love about this? You may say, no, no, I don't like it at all. Yep, but you keep creating it. Whatever is working well in your life, you created it. Whatever is not working in your, well in your life, also you created it. So ask yourself, what do I love about this? And here you could definitely use the clearing statement and pod and fog, everything that brings up for you. And ask, what do you hate about this? Because you're also judging the situation. So ask, what, what do I hate about this? And then again, pot and pop, whatever shows up. Deepa, all these uh, statements that we are, or tools that we are using, is it necessary to do pod pop at the end of it? Or no, you may we just, just ask the question. Yes, uh, because a question itself is a tool. So you, in certain cases, you can ask a question and leave it. In certain cases, you can clear the energy. So just go with your knowing. Whatever you're aware of at that time, go with that. You may just ask questions certain times. For the same questions, you may pot and pock some other times. 
your awareness is greater than what you thought it was. So what if you could trust you and make a choice at that time? And no choice is a wrong choice or a good choice. Just choose and say, hey, you know what? I chose that in that second, but now I think I'll choose this. So change it. That's okay. What if you could give yourself permission to play with these tools? And everything that doesn't allow that. Time's a godzilla. And are you all willing to destroy and uncreate at all? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Right on, good, bad, 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 call nine shots, boys, provides and beyonds. What other tools do you like to work with? I use this tool more often when I wake up in the morning. I forgot to mention that. Uh, what magic, what energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, can I and my body be in today to be the magic gift and contribution that I be to me, my body, my money reality, my financial reality, and to the world and to the universe. This is one. And second is I do and uncreate all my relationship with myself, with money, with the universe, and my business everything so cool so cool those are amazing tools too when you destroy and uncreate your relationship with somebody including you you allow certain energies to move out of your system and then you could create from new possibilities not from the point of view that see this did not work with them yesterday they didn't speak properly to me today I'm still hurt and upset and they didn't apologize they didn't even acknowledge to me and therefore I'm not going to forgive them so they carry this baggage every day from the past and every day we create new baggages we are fantastic at this it's a natural system that we have in place we automatically do this those are called auto responders okay so when we destroy and uncreate something, when you destroy and uncreate you yesterday, you are willing to be a new you today. And when you destroy and uncreate whatever your relationship was, say with your business, say with your job or with the person, again, you allow change in that area too. And laughter, laughter is one of the greatest gifts you can give you and also gift the earth. You know, we're all on the earth and we take the earth for granted. We all have our traumas and our dramas. Earth is like, ah, sometimes with all of this that we create. When you are willing to laugh, actually it's a big contribution to the earth. You choosing greater consciousness is also a great contribution to the earth, by the way. What else can I be? What else can I choose? Choice is one of the greatest of tools. Choose. Some people say, yeah, I want a job, but I'm just waiting for that job to show up without applying for more jobs, without being in the question. And some of you have really invested in you in attending many workshops. So please use that. Please use that. Don't give up that. Please refer to those recordings, whatever workshop that is. There are so many free YouTube recordings available. Go look them up. Don't give up. Never give up, never give in, never give, never quit. Never give up, never give in, never quit. That is a great tool by itself. Okay, yesterday I was feeling a bit down. Okay, today what shall I choose? Choose again. So when you choose choose again and then you choose again with no points of view about it it can actually create greater for you you may say yeah i want to choose this thing but it costs me money and i don't have that money where is the question in that no question it's a conclusion i don't have the money so ask okay if a body do you want to choose this if you want to body go create the money for that ask the class do you want me to choose you go get the money ask the vacation do you want me to choose you Okay, would you contribute to me and get me money? Go get the money for me to uh, choose you as a vacation spot. Some clothes you want to buy. 
some necklace you want to buy or some other jewelry you want to buy or whatever you want to buy, ask, would you get me money? Get me the money to buy you. We think we own all these things when we buy them. No, they own us. Would you like to own me? When you buy a book, ask, would you like to own me? When you buy property, ask, would you like to own me? Okay, would you like to own me? And if you get an energetic yes or something light about it, ask, go get the money for it. If you'd like to own me, go get the money for that. So you're not just giving you the job to get the money, you're allowing the universe to contribute to you. What are the tools? Thank you so much for all of you being so interactive. What else? What else? What else is possible? How many of you get bored? I'm so bored. I don't know. I don't think this is motivating me. I don't want to do this. I don't want to clear this. I don't want to pack. I don't want to blah, blah. Apply for a job. I don't want to whatever. Cook. How many of you are bored of some things? <laughs> okay. I've got some reactions out here. Some people have said me. Some people have put like a laughing icon. Who else? Who else? Okay. So what do you do then? What can you do? To, you just hate this job. Or you just don't want to do some things. When you really don't want to do some things, see if you can outsource it to somebody else. Okay. Kill time. What do you, What if you didn't have to kill time? I've heard this term before. I was like, kill time. What if you could enjoy time? So many people have said, me, me, me for boredom. Okay. Ask, what can I add to my life to create greater for me and for the world? So you're adding you and adding the world. And you may choose to go to a movie. You may just choose to buy popcorn. You may choose to... Do whatever. <laughs> Some person is saying, uh, bored with trauma and drama. Mm, I agree. Sometimes that can be boring too. And it's a habit. Some people have picked up where they keep creating trauma and drama in their life. They're bored with that. But yet you keep creating it. Then what else is possible? So one person has responded to say, I don't get bored ever. That's so awesome. How much are you already in the question of what can I add to my life now? What? So that is, for some people, it's easy to be in the enthusiasm for living. They may paint sometime, they may do something else, listen to music, they may sleep, whatever. But they're willing to choose enthusiasm with whatever they create. And if you're not choosing that sometime, what if that's not a wrongness too? You could just acknowledge. I hate packing. I love traveling, but I hate packing for some reason. Especially these major family events that I have to go to. Uh, like I went for a wedding recently in the family. There was so much packing. I didn't want to select all the accessories and the whatever. So I did a little bit of it and I just was resisting all the packing and all that. I was like, okay, what manipulation can I be here to pack with ease? And um, for me, what works often I've noticed is to clear some part of the house. So I'll be packing here and clearing. Some people may think that's extra work. I agree, it's extra work. So, but it's more fun for me because I can't, I die of boredom when I'm doing just one single focused thing. A lot of people, it works for them. Know yourself what works for you. I die of boredom just to do one single packing. When I'm doing this and sorting out that and, you know, checking out this and getting some, you know, new pickle made in the kitchen, 
even if I'm not the one who's making it 100% end to end, still getting all those things in there keeps me going. I'm, then I'm energetic and into about packing. Okay, somebody's asked me to repeat the question on manipulation. I can't remember the exact question, but what manipulation can I be to choose this with ease, to pack with ease, or to apply for a job with ease, or whatever else you want to do? So you've got to be willing to manipulate you. What if manipulation is not wrong? So I manipulate me when I have to pack. Sometimes I manipulate me when I'm resisting something else. Like, no, no, you can't do this. And then I'm like, shoot, I know I can do this easily. But just that I'm not choosing it. So you've got to be willing to manipulate you. What manipulation can you be to use the tools with ease? What manipulation can I be to receive change with ease? Sometimes you may not choose change in certain areas. Some people don't like their cuisine change. They like the same type of food day in and day out. If they go out of town, they stay in the same hotel all the time. They're not willing to experiment, try something else. They wear the, they wear the same kind of clothes because that's their comfort area. What manipulation can you be for you to have more fun? For you to choose greater? Someone said, um, thank you for this. I had charge around the word manipulation. Yes, manipulation has been made big time wrong. For, by all of us at different times, we were told manipulation is wrong. What if manipulation is not wrong? So much fun is possible. I manipulate a lot of my clients to choose greater for themselves. Clearings are a way of manipulating yourself, by the way. Clearings, asking questions, these are all expansive. They are all ways of you choosing, stepping into something greater. They are actually a way to manipulate you also. When you manipulate yourself, you could just create amazing possibilities that maybe you have stopped yourself from, you've refused to choose, or you're defending for or against that, whatever it is. What else is possible? What else is possible? Anyone else? What other tools are you using? One of the tools is also to acknowledge you. Acknowledge your creations. Sometimes you may not even notice you've created something. You're creating with so much of ease, you've not noticed you've created that. Some things come so naturally to people. Like some people have just published book after book after book. Hey, acknowledge yourself that you published a book. They are, yeah, but I don't write now. So what? So nothing. Acknowledge that you wrote these books. Now what else is possible? Some people are their caretakers for somebody who's not been well for some time in their family or among friends. They don't acknowledge themselves. You being you has actually been such a contribution to others. So acknowledging you is a great, great tool. Please don't let you out of the equation of your life. Another tool is to give up judgment of your body. I'm sorry, somebody is asking some question. Sorry, Diva. That was an incoming call. Sorry. Okay. So stop judging your body. Stop judging you. These are also tools. What else? 
What would it take for me to choose to be happy today? What would it take for you to give you permission today to smile? What would it take for my revenue to double with ease? These are all questions you can always ask. So create targets. Sometimes people don't have targets. They don't have targets for the months to come. They don't have a target for the year. They're just kind of just managing day-to-day -day basis. That is thrashing. Where they're just like staying in the same place, doing a lot of flapping of their wings and their hands and legs and whatever other situation, but they're more or less in the same place. That's not th thriving. That is surviving. So create targets so that you can start moving forward. So what is your target for this year? Create a target. So Deepa, one question on that. So um, if we set a goal, right? Does that in any way contra contradict the uh, question, the tool of what else is possible where it's more open-ended and you're opening it up to possibilities rather than defining something specific, right? So, so great question. Instead of calling it a goal, call it a target. These are my targets. And when you reach those targets, please create new targets. Sometimes we reach the targets, but we forget to acknowledge ourselves. Uh, don't use the words goal as much because the word goal sometimes is heavy. So see if you want to use something lighter, like a tar target. So energetically, certain words, like certain words have energies. Like if you say, I want to. Want actually moves with the frequency of lack. So whenever you say, I want this, I want that, you are saying, I lack this, I lack that. Instead, ask what else is possible here. So I desire this. I'd like to have this in my life. What would it take for me to choose this? So to reword a bit. It's not about playing with words as much as playing with energies. So the word goal actually in Australia, jails. G-A-O-L. This is the spelling of jail. Here, let me see if I can just spell that one second. So they say jail and they pronounce, they spell it differently. So in some parts of the world, jail is spelled as J-A-I-L. In Australia, they spell it as G-A-O-L. And that's sounds a lot like goal. So that's why I was suggesting don't use the word goal. Instead use the word target. To be killing energy, somebody has put on the thing. I'm not sure of the context. You have used that. Um, so killing energy is for a different purpose. So I didn't see which minute you posted that. So I don't know. Maybe you can share something. Hi, uh, Anjali here. Uh, Hi. So yeah, I sorry, I must have lost the context because I was doing some household work as well. But yeah, I usually use it whenever, you know, I need some confidence or I need to go to a meeting and uh, I need to present myself well. Or I just know that, you know, it's a bad day. I'm not in a high vibe and then I use this tool. But yeah. That was the point I was trying to say. Awesome, awesome. So you can use the killing energy. The killing energy is where you're willing to be that killing energy to kill whatever is not working for you at that time. So they are like you're killing the weeds. Supposing you're afraid or you have doubt or some regret is going on. If you're willing to be the killing energy towards that, that will be out of the way. The fear will dissolve. The doubt will dissolve. The regret will dissolve. So that is where you could use killing energies. Thank you for that. Okay, thank you. What else? You asking questions is an amazing, amazing, amazing tool because it is what is called an algorithm interrupt. What is an interrupt? Interrupt is where you stop certain flows. So you 
have certain things going on mechanically in your life, which creates less. Every day you get up, go to the office, then you do this, then you do that. You get up, brush your teeth, then you drink milk, then you drink tea, you do this, do this, 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 this. So your life sometimes is so mechanical, you may not even be able to add something to your life. For example, you know you've got to apply for a job and you know it will create greater, but you're not willing to choose that. You know you've got to be you know, willing to choose ease with packing and you're not choosing that. Whatever that is for you. So when you ask certain questions, it actually comes in as an algorithm interrupt. It interrupts these algorithms in your life. You're not a robo. You're a person. You're an infinite being. You being an infinite being can actually allow infinite possibilities in your life. And these are all tools that you could use to create infinite possibilities. Uh, one more tool that I use, uh, uh, you know, big time is uh, how does my body feel like about feeling light and heavy? Okay. Uh, whenever I have to choose anything, I ask my body and I ask myself also, does this, is this feeling light? Or is it feeling heavy? Irrespective of the fact that uh, it may look very lucrative, it may be beyond my expectations, it might be something which I would have loved to have, but still I ask the question, does this feel light for me? Like there was this point of time where I was offered a um, job to join as a principal of a school and she was my friend. So the first thing was like, you know, in my, my, in my head, it was like, she's my friend and she's asking for help. So I need to join her and all the blah, blah, blah thing was going on. But in it, but my body and my energy was like feeling really heavy. And I really didn't want to go with it because it was feeling heavy. And I have worked with, I mean, I use, I constantly use this tool of light and heavy. Whenever I have to decide or whether there's a dilemma or whatever it is. And then things happened in such a way and they took so much of a turn that the lightness, till the lightness came in, I did not go in for any kind of a final decision. And when I gave her the final decision, it felt so light and I felt so relieved and you know, kind of set me free. Because I did not go into the judgment that she is my friend, I have told her. Now if I tell her in the last minute, where will she find another person? In such a short time period, how is she going to manage? And all this blah, 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 blah thing was going on big time in my head. But then the energy was so heavy, I just couldn't go with it. And when I chose that light energy and I went ahead and I, you know, um, very politely put down that particular offer. Luckily enough, it's it created so much of a different perspective and a different reality for me that I ended up having my own classes at my home. And out of nowhere, nearly 20 students showed up in a within 15 days time period. And I'm having a gala time enjoying with them because the energy of kids is lovely. That is so, so this cool. one awesome. that I really use big time, light and heavy. Awesome, awesome. So light and heavy, you can ask, like she said, she's asking her body, body, is this light for you? And there are certain questions you can ask you, the being, what is light for you? Because certain possibilities are related to the body and certain possibilities are actually related to you, the being, and to the body, it may not make an impact as such. So you can also ask you, okay, is this light for me? And then choose from there. If you choose what is light, lightness is what will get created. However, do know that if you have a point of view, like supposing you have a point of view, if I live in this area, then I have to pay too much rent, which I can't afford. And therefore, if I think about asking question, uh, shall I move there to that so-and-so locality? It is coming heavy. It will because you have a reason and justification for that. Instead, if you give up that point of view, who knows, you moving there may just get you more money. That was it. Maybe your, you know, one of your family members would send you more money every month or you may create more money every month. Anything is possible. Yes. So one of the tools is also what question can I ask here? 
Amazing. Thank you for that, Anupama. You can ask, what question can I ask here to change this? You may not get a question right away. So just ask, what question can I ask to change this? And that is a great tool by itself. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. That was a lot of tools discussed. So please start playing with these tools. Start practicing different tools, different days. And uh, there is also this uh, book, Ten Commandments. So play with the tools from that too. Every day, take one of the commandments, one of the suggestions, use that and say, play with that tool. As an infinite being, would you really truly choose this? So see then if you want to change that. So <clears throat> start actively using different tools from what you have been used to using. And that's one of the reasons why I asked all of you to talk about it because now you have so many more tools to tap into. So start tapping into these tools, start playing with these tools and also refer to the recordings you have, refer to the gold mines of the manuals you have. You people have so much. Start referring to that too and use those tools. And there are so many free YouTube videos out there with so many tools. So please, please, please use them too. Thank you. Thank you all. Is there any... Last thing you'd like to ask, share. Anyone? No, thank you Deepa for setting this up because I think it's a good reminder of so many tools that we're not using. Right, right. right. Any tool to raise the energy instantaneously? What do you mean raise the energy? Like I, did you hear? I mean when you, when you feel down, when you feel low, uh, so instantaneously you require some boost up kind of thing so mentally when you are so feeling low so with some tool we can uh, uh, raise the energy anything is there all these are tools everything we discussed is a tool so like i said if we discuss today what you should use in the future i'm already getting getting a conclusion that this is the tool that will solve all your problems in the future and that is where i would be asking you to cut off your awareness Okay. Right. So you being present at that time, tapping into that energy and asking what question can I ask here? What tool can I use here? That will actually create greater for you. Okay. So. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, yes. I remember now one of uh, the people had asked me to uh, use about. The need for a reactive reality. So very often you have all got a need for a reactive reality. And that actually brings down your energy. So then you'll have someone fighting with you, somebody saying these things. So if you keep having a similar situation going on in your life day after day or week after week, similar kind of things going on, you have the need for that reactive reality going on for you. And pot and pop that too, because that is what is creating that. Your need for that reactive reality is getting the other person to be nasty to you. Your need for that reactive reality keeps you out of a job. Your need for that reactive reality keeps you always looking for standard solutions. We don't have standard solutions here. Why? Because the target is for you to tap into your awareness, which is greater than you thought it was. We don't have... So Deepa, what's the best way to pot pop that? What is the best way to pot pop which? This whole reactive reality thing. So all the reactive realities, all the presumptive realities and all the need for the reactive realities you're choosing that is creating this. Are you willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, online, shots, boys, pods, and beyonds. That will okay. start shifting and changing the situation. Okay.
Any other questions? Anything left unanswered? Any new questions? Thank you all. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you again on a call. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling. Bye. Thank you, Deepa. Bye. Bye. Thank you.